The South Point Stallions are still celebrating the Lady Stallions' successful basketball season. I'm CN2's Morgan Cox, and I'll let you know how we're going to continue that celebration. After a history-making season for the South Point Lady Stallions basketball team, the team is very deserving of this week's CN2 Athletes of the Week. Lady Stallions! <laughs> the team made school history just by going to the state championship. We knew walking into like the season that it was going to be a lot and we was going to have to overcome a lot and the fact that we did, it means a lot. So this year really meant a lot to me. Scarlett Gilmore, a senior on the team, also made school history this year by scoring her 1,000th career point. Gilmore says she is going to miss her team next year and reminisces on her favorite memory. So we played Spring Valley the first and we we did not win. It was a bad game and stuff like that. So then, but we played them the second time. We knew we had to do. We knew practices would have to be serious. And then the fact that we went there, their home, and like the energy, everything, just winning that for the team. We, we that's when we knew that we could do anything. And Sierra McCullough, the other senior on the team, agrees. The season was very fun. On the way, we defeated Spring Valley, which was number one in the state, and we broke their, like, I think, 37 game winning streak. So that was also, like, that was probably the funnest. The Stallions head coach says she is really going to miss her two seniors next season. They're, they're, they're good basketball players, but they're really good, high character young ladies as well. Um, you know, Sierra is really funny and um, has just really fit in. Uh, with our with our with our team and it's just been like family and um, you know Scarlett I, since I've been here for six years Scarlett has played on the varsity for four and she's just such a again they're high qu character high quality young ladies like I don't w ever worry about anything with them um, on or off the court they're really good students as well and um, you know, you, you can't replace them. Both girls are hoping to take the next step in their basketball careers as they head to college. Continue to tune in to CN2 Sports and we will update you as soon as we find out more. Jimmy Wallace, a local legendary football coach, was inducted into the South Carolina Athletic Administrators Association Hall of Fame. Wallace coached for 28 years combined at Louisville High School and Northwestern High School, winning four state titles and sending countless players to college and the NFL. He is now part of Heads Up Football, a USA football program that allows him to travel the country teaching to football coaches. Congrats, Coach Wallace. The Fort Mill Lady Jackets lacrosse team defeated Evans High School at home 15-2. A cold and rainy day, but that did not stop Fort Mill's momentum on the field. Charlotte Anderson led the Jackets with four goals, Sydney Costin added three goals, and Alexa Strelick added three goals as well in the win. Zan Hill, a freshman on the team, talks about her excitement to have made the varsity team this year. She says that she is excited to learn from seniors on the team who took the Jackets all the way to the state championship last year. It's a lot more challenging, but a lot more fun, and I'm so excited to be on this team because we just share a very good bond together, like we're another family. Um, we have a lot of fun off the field and on the field and in school, and they're just basically like more sisters to me. The Jackets play at home today, March 11th, against Providence High School at 5.30. Congratulations to the Lady Stallions on a successful basketball season. I love doing c and Athletes of the Week, but I couldn't just pick one. That's why the whole team got it. If you have a team or an athlete you'd like to nominate, please send me a message at the email on your screen. That'll do it for c and Sports. I'm Morgan Cox.